want to start out with um, Jade. How did it feel to be on this end of the rivalry and win tonight? Yeah, it was a fun one, most definitely. Um, walking to shoot around, you know, they were coming out, so I got to say hi to you know, my former teammates. But, um, you know, there's no friends on the court, so once that, you know, tip went up, it was just, you know, game time, try to execute. Um, it's great to have this first one at home. Uh, a bunch of fans, almost 10,000. That was great, so it was, it was definitely a lot of fun. How important was it for you guys to start off the way you did? I think you guys opened up a 12-4 to run. Yeah, I think that's, you know, something that's been big for us, just starting off strong, you know, not not being flat. And I think, you know, you saw that in the Baylor game, just um, being aggressive in our traps, being able to run. Um, I think when we start the game like that, we're able to uh, maintain it throughout the, the game. So I think that that was big for us, and hopefully we can continue to do that. As Mary, um, Adia said that, you know, especially as you're preparing to go forward, you guys need to worry about staying out of foul trouble. So you did that today. What's important? How how did you play defense that was so effective on them inside? Um, I think I'm pretty strong, and I can guard anybody in the court. Like, and play defense like is the most important thing that we have to do to help the team. If I don't play really well defense, I don't think I can, I'm not going to help the team. And I don't know what that's it. So, what was it like for you to face this rivalry for the first time? I know you've had rivalries in the past, but now you're wearing an Arizona uniform. I just uh, got to say thank God first for <laughs> the wins. And I feel great about it. Like, it's a good win. First, getting the, the conference, so that's it. And um, Maya played a lot tonight. What do you see from her since you're all coming? She has a talent. Like, she's going to be good in the news for your year. She's really good. I'm saying she's getting better every day, her defense. And she, she's trying to work hard every day. For either one of you, you know, we talked about that you came out from the get-go ready to play, and as the game wore on, um, you know, your defense was pretty tight and the offense was clicking. What, as the game started to wear on and in that third quarter when you really extended the lead, what were you guys thinking about and, and how were you sort of like able to sort of keep up that momentum because sometimes, you know, when you when you have a big lead, you're not always still going. Yeah, I think you know we have three big games within five days, so you know we're looking at Cal, we're looking at Stanford, and I think just building on, you know, the things that we do need to work on. You know, we weren't boxing out as well. Um, we had you know some lack of execution on offense, so I think just staying poised and knowing that you know we're building for these upcoming games. You know, um, that was big for us, and so that was a, a key point in timeouts and. Um, you, you can never let up off the gas. So I think just, you know, having that um, mentality to continue to fix the, the things that we need to fix moving forward, I think that will help us. How important is it that you guys were able to go deeper in the bench today and kind of save your minutes for this upcoming stretch and being able to stay fresh? Yeah, it's really important. You know, we have a lot of talent on the bench, so to be able to have them come up, you know, come in and, and get their minutes is great. It's fun to watch them. Um, they get better every day. They challenge us every day, so um, it's well deserved. And I think you know they're going to continue to get good minutes and and do you know a solid job for us off the bench. So you both combined for what, like thirty-five points or something like that? I mean, and. Um, <coughs> And it was such a balanced attack on offense. What was that like for you as, you know, right from the get-go, like you were feeding to everybody and that first run, everybody got something. Um, was that sort of your plan to get keep getting everybody involved? Yeah, I think just, you know, sharing the ball better was something that we've been working on. You know, we finished with 24 assists. Um, and I, that's huge. You know, we have so many different assets on the court. So being able to feed off of each other and have that, you know, connection on the court is, is going to be um, vital in these upcoming games just, you know, for defensive, so defensive, de defenses, sorry, to play us honest. So I think, um, you know, that, that was big and that was definitely a highlight of tonight. Only seven three-point shots today. Was that more of how ASU was guarding you or the game plan coming into the game kind of attacking the paint more? 
Yeah, I think, you know, it's good to be aggressive. We don't want to settle. Um, it wasn't really, you know, a key point going into this game, but we were just trying to take what the defense gave us, and um, we were able to get in the paint, um, find each other uh, when we did penetrate. So I think that was just something that was working for us. So continuing to do that was, was helpful. Anything else for the players? Thanks, y'all. Thanks.